Check it out. Welcome to Vans Drumming, my first video in 2008. We're going to discuss uh, a brand new kit. Maybe you just got a brand new kit for Christmas. Uh, maybe your parents bought you one. Maybe you went out and spent the money and bought yourself one. Uh, a couple things you need to think about when you first get your kit. Uh, if you've never had one before, is that sometimes uh, they don't quite tune them up real well in the store or they're in a Christmas rush. So <clears throat> they're just slapping them things together real quick just to get them out the door for sale. So what we want to take a look at here is how can we get your drum sounding you know, that much better quickly. Uh, I'm not going to go through in-depth tuning. I'm going to give you a couple quick solutions of at least getting your, your head seated properly and, uh, and, and making them sound a little bit better. So cool. Check it out. Uh, this is an old, not an old, but a uh, Mapex uh, Maple uh, Pro drum here. So first thing, as if this was one of your new drums, don't mind the dust. Um, and it had brand new heads stuck on there by either your parents late at night, Christmas Eve, after you went to bed, or Santa Claus, or um, maybe it was, uh, in the, like I said, the music store. So what we want to do is take a regular drum key. Um, this is a torque key, which I'm going to talk to you about in a minute, but go ahead and loosen the head up a little bit because most likely it wasn't seated properly. So we're just going to go ahead and crank these a little bit looser, get them so they're finger tight, basically. Da -da 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 -da. Um, if, for, for instance, you know, they came with the stock heads, if it wasn't a high-end kit, it may be worth going out and buying some decent heads. Uh, but you can make a really cheap, cheap drum set sound amazing. Uh, well, pretty amazing anyway. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting this head loose enough, all these lugs so I can, I can loosen these lugs enough so I can finger tighten them again in a second. So here we go. My lugs are loose. Here they are. I'm not taking them all the way out, okay? Just getting them loose enough. And what you want to do is get that. See, now my head's flopping on here. See, now my head is kind of flopping. What The first thing you want to do with any new drum head is be able to uh, seat it properly. Now, if it was put on wrong and somebody cranked down one side and not the other, then most likely the head was it could be warped or could be uh, uh, not seated properly and never sound good ever. So, But let's try this anyway. Your head's loose on here. Uh, what we want to do is take it, and this seems kind of weird, is you can take it and take your, you know, sit on your lap or sit on the floor, take your fist in the center of it, Give it a good push. Hear it cracking? You're not gonna break the head. Don't you worry. Okay, and let me go ahead and disclaim this first that there's many drummers out there and everybody has a different way to do something. This is my way. So it may not be correct. It may not be the best way, but this is the way I do it. And again, I'm no big uh, drum tech tuning genius or anything of the sort, so. All right, next thing is you notice what I'm doing here. I'm going around the drum and I'm just finger tightening these things, just getting them down just so they're snug enough where I can't really cry. I mean, I could sit here and play with them, tighten them real hard, but just getting them so they're finger tight. Okay, so here we are. We're, now we're finger tight. It does not sound good, all right? Now, if you don't own one of these, you may want to go out and maybe exchange the Argyle socks or the uh, plaid pants you got for Christmas for a uh, torque key. This is a Rhythm Tech here. Uh, a couple different companies make them. I have another one laying around the room somewhere, but this is a uh, Rhythm Tech torque key. And what it is is you can set the numbers on here uh, dial in a certain tension so that each lug you can try to get pretty darn close to the tension. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a really high-end one. They have a lot of ones that actually sit on the head and it's a real, real high-end torque key, but this one here uh, is, is great. And I, again, you know, I tune my drums just with this alone. I'm not one of these drummers that sit here by ear going, which is great if you can do that. I don't have a perfect ear, so uh, for, for, uh, for tones, so this is my, my tool. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here is take the drum key, basically I've got them finger tight, and now we'll start working the drum. And I'm not even going I don't even have to set any torque yet, but I'm gonna work a uh, half turn on each. Now notice what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go from here, and I'm gonna jump across. What you don't want to do is go from the next lug over. Okay, you always wanna work across from the lug you're working on. Half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn, okay? And okay, so it's obviously not getting anywhere yet, so let's go another half turn. And, uh, still sounds like garbage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dial my torque key in here. Uh, every torque key is a little different. This one has one through eight on it, so you can dial it into whatever you want. And you, and you click it over, so I'm still gonna work my half turns. Half, half. Okay, and I've got it set right now. I'm gonna set it at a three, all right? Did I work this one? I don't know if I worked that one. Okay. All 
I'll bring it back to like a two and a half and see what happens. That's going to be too high. So let me go to a two. I'm going to bring this back a little bit and let it click. So what I'm doing is, uh, notice Turkey, I can bring it back a little bit and then get it so it just clicks. Click. Click. This one's a little looser. All right. Here we go, ready? Uh, uh, click, come on. Come on. Whoa. It's almost impossible to do this without a nice torquey like this. That's too tight for my preference, personally. So let's go to number one, maybe. Okay, so it's no problem bringing it back. Sometimes I'll even over crank my head and do the whole pushing again. But uh, just to get that head stretched a little bit. And whatever you do, whenever you're putting new heads on, what's gonna happen anyway is like uh, after a day or so, you're gonna wanna retune them because they, they start stretching and settling. And if it's hot and cold, I don't know where you have your drum set. You might be in a basement, you might be in a garage where you got some really wacky temperatures. But uh, heat, heat and cold are gonna obviously stretch and loosen this head up. So you wanna tune these, especially new heads are gonna go out of tune pretty quick. So I'm gonna back it off to a one and see where she goes. Maybe a one and a half. All right, so again, each torque is a little different. Some don't even have numbers, they just, they just have like a knob and you, you know, you just settle in wherever you like. Now I will come in <coughs> and listen to the drum at each lug just for the heck of it after I do that and see if any of them are really out of whack. Ah, see? Those are close. This one's a little high, so I'm gonna bring that back a little bit. It's hard to do when it's not on your kit, obviously, but. You know, and you can listen just by, again, just by hearing if it's way. Of course, I have not touched my bottom head yet, but. 